So I titled this, Does Your Life Suck? I read this quote from Instagram and it went something like, this too shall pass. I think Gandalf said it. I don't even know where that quote comes from. But it made me think because I feel like, you know, sometimes you get stuck in your life where like no matter what you're doing, you're not making any progress. It's like you're running a treadmill. Like you're a hamster in a treadmill. I kind of feel like that sometimes. So what do you do when you're a hamster in a treadmill? How do you get perspective on your life? Honestly, I wish I knew. But that quote really stuck to me. This too shall pass. So no matter what good things or bad things is happening to you, it's gonna finish. Everything has a, has a timeline. So when you're in the good times, you're gonna be, you know, it's a limited good time. Conversely, when it's a bad time, it's a, you know, limited bad time, even though it doesn't feel like it. And you know what's even crazier? The fact that it, it's all relative. Like, look at this background. It's so crazy, let me show you. Look at this. I'm in freaking Hawaii, Maui, and I feel so stuck in my life. How insane. Like if you're watching this, you're probably thinking, okay, what the hell, what, the, what, what do you mean this guy's talking about stuck in life? This guy's enjoying his vacation. What the hell is he talking about? Well, it's a mental kind of stuck because like, let's say I just focus on my YouTube. I wouldn't necessarily be stuck because I enjoy what I'm doing. It's kind of like a craft, art. But you gotta always worry about finances. And right now with the stocks, the lessons I'm learning, brutal stuff. Because you don't learn it without a bunch of heavy losses. So you make one move and you're like, all right, I finally figured it out. Next thing you know, you haven't figured it out. And the more things you do, the more complexity you add in your life, the less clear your life is going to be. Because pretty much all of life is problem solving, if you really think about it. You're solving one of your life issues and then solving another of your life issues. And it just goes on and on and on. It's like a perpetual, yeah, like a hamster in a treadmill. But you get to choose your problems. That's the kind of cool thing. As you get older, you realize that not everything, or rather you can make decisions on everything. And so it gives you the freedom to choose your problems. Jordan Peterson has this quote. He's like, you can't avoid misery. You can't avoid the difficulties and tribulations or tribulations that come with life. But you can pick your poison. So again, I feel stuck in my life, but the poison I picked is stocks, YouTube, and women. Those are pretty good poisons if you ask me. And at the same time, it's kind of bullshit because when you're learning, when you're becoming a stock master or a YouTuber or like a Casanova, whatever the hell your goal is, in the process of learning that, it's not an easy thing. It's a transformation that, quite frankly, painful, really, really painful. So it depends on your pain threshold. All right, we hit a, it's called a mirador in Spain, but I guess you call it a scenic porn. Check this out. Let's see if I can get, get shot. Look at that. Whenever it rains, you'll just see like right there, you can kind of see the clouds. Just imagine the whole thing turns gray and it gets closer and closer and closer to you. And they have flash floods and stuff too. So you see that little river down there? That can become a big river depending on the rainfall. So if you're watching this, you think, let's say, in fact, not let's say, I know for sure you're going through some difficulties right now. Not just any difficulties. Probably some difficulty that no one else can imagine that only you're going through. So the fact, oh, this is the end? Huh. Do you guys know if there's a way down? Yeah, it's just back away. Dude, like there, the the yeah, there's like a small trail. Word. Yeah. But this is like the main. Yeah. Yes, this is the lookout point so where you can see the mountains. Well. Okay, cool. All right, thanks. All right, so it turns out this isn't a hiking trail. This is more like a <laughs> like a scenic point. So another thing you gotta, gotta do is research your stuff. 
<clears throat> so you're probably thinking right now, like in your life, your difficulties or whatever, you know, you're going through is the worst thing that can possibly happen. How could life be so unjustifiably bad for you, right? Conversely, if you're in a good time right now, you might be thinking, huh, life is not that bad. Life is pretty good. You know, people can just do their thing and it'll be all good. It'll, it'll work out in the end. So just depending on where you are, if you're in a point where you feel stuck, you're gonna find all the crappy things that seems endless and daunting. Conversely, if you're in a point where you're not stuck, you're in a point of progress, let's say, then you're gonna feel like life is gonna be a-okay. And so the foundational thing that's happening between th those two states is that in one state, you're not making progress. So it's such a weird thing. If you just make progress, hold on. I was complaining about my shoulders dying because my goddamn shoulder workout game is so weak. And yet I keep making videos where my shoulder workout is demanded. Okay, so this should be another trail here. <clears throat> so if you're feeling right now, like I said, depending on where you are in your progress, if you're feeling stagnant, then you're gonna feel probably crappy. And if you're feeling like you're doing something, you're making moves, you're gonna feel not so crappy. So at the end, I mean, ultimately, what really matters is really that human thing, which is that you're making incremental steps forward. Now the problem comes when you, it's not that you compare, but when you're making those incremental steps forward, you kind of have to see where you're heading. And so when you see the gap, skill gap, when you see what world-class looks like, and you're not there at world-class, that kind of fucking sucks. Cause you're thinking, shit, I got so, like such a long journey ahead of me. And every time I'm like, it's like treading water against the current. So you're, just getting pushed further back and you're thinking what how does this make sense i'm supposed to every step i take forward it's supposed to be go forward right but it doesn't feel like that and it feels like every other content creator they know their shit everybody else that's like following the same journey as you knows exactly what the hell to do and yet you feel like ah oh, i don't know what to do crazy crazy feeling right oh sick okay we found a trail check it out so this is gonna lead to somewhere I don't know where it might be a trail it might not be a trail but at the end of the day most of life is a trail that you walk and you don't even know where the hell you'll end up so in that way I'm, I'm very accepting of that fact like when it comes to uncertainties in life I'm really cool with it I'm gonna go this way but when it comes to things that I should be certain at, that's where all the doubt and the confusion and the feeling still or feeling stuck comes in. Because if you really look at it, like even when I watch my YouTube videos, I'll be like, whoa, I'm making progress, that's cool. Like I'm improving iteration after iteration on the things that I'm doing. So I noticed that. And yet when I look at the big picture, it seems like my stock account is just stuck at the same place. It seems like my YouTube stuck at the same place and it's always one problem after the other it's like when you solve the first thing you graduate to more bigger problems and that happens always so it really at the end of the day it's all about mindset because the people who are happy are happy with whatever they have and the people who are not happy the people that are miserable are miserable regardless of what they have oh let me show you some of the water See how this is this is the little lake i was talking about or the river that when flash floods this thing is going to be filled with water check it out all right let's see Ugh. So any sense of growth or progress that you actually end up going through, it's a limited thing. And it only happens because 
or rather, the fact that you're making progress makes you feel like your life is gonna turn out fine. And when you're not making progress, you're gonna feel like your life is, like there's no end in sight to this hell that you created for yourself. So if you're doing multiple things that require a lot, you're probably gonna end up in a situation where you're feeling stuck constantly, even if you're making progress. Because let's say I make progress on my YouTube, but when it comes to my dating skills or my stocks, I'm not making progress. I still feel like I'm not doing anything. It feels like every step I take forward, I'm taking two steps back. So how do you even solve for that? Another cool quote I read by Winston Churchill. An appeaser is one who feeds a crocodile and hopes that he gets eaten last. Winston Churchill said that. An appeaser is one who feeds a crocodile hoping it'll eat him last. Crazy quote if you think about it. But when it comes to social skills, or I guess in this department, dating skills or whatever, like if you're an appeaser all your life, guess what? If that's your coping habits or the way you develop yourself within the world, that's gonna fucking bite you back hardcore. So maybe being an appeaser works when you're a kid and you wanna be a people pleaser, everyone, you wanna get along with everyone. Sure, that works. But as you get older and older, nope. That's one of those things that become a crutch. So what could be a social skill early on becomes a crutch later on. And those things you have to reheal or remend yourself. Because if you don't, you're gonna constantly go through the same problems, brah. Yo, check this out. This tree is freaking massive. Oh, you can't see anything here. I don't know if you get perspective of how freaking large this tree is. Whoa. Let's see if I can. All right, let me compare it with this tree right here. So this is a regular tree. I guess on the camera doesn't look that large. In person it's crazy. All right, all right. Enough dilly-dallying. Let's go back on topic. So let's say in social skills, you constantly find yourself appeasing to people, catering to, you know, whatever their delicates are or their needs or whatever. That's fine. When you wanna like, if in a business relationship, that's awesome. But when it comes to, again, this department, not so much. Because ultimately women just wanna see who you are. So authenticity is more important than being delicate to the situation. Yo, is this your phone? Yeah. Okay. What? So end of the day, depending on where you are, in the social ladder, if you're someone that's a people pleaser, then you gotta focus more about authentically expressing yourself. If you're someone that's really good at authentically expressing themselves, maybe you need to focus on being more delicate of other people's perspectives. I understand that. And yet, just understanding it isn't enough. You have to be able to truly embody that identity. Because wherever you are now, the reason you feel stuck is because you're not there. You're not that ideal person that you strive to be. And that work in order to become that ideal person, it's an unknown because it really depends on how quickly you improve yourself or how quickly you are, or rather how good you are at problem solving your own problems and figuring out who you are. So all these little things will lead you to feeling stuck. It'll make you feel like there's no end in sight. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. And I kind of really feel like that sometimes. Oh look, no matter where you go, people are trashing everything. That's kind of beautiful. Wow. Damn, there's people swimming here. I don't even know if we're in the trail anymore. It looks like a path, so we shall go this way. 
All right, I feel like I took a wrong path and this trail is gonna take me somewhere. I don't see those little trail signs anymore on the right, but this feels like a trail. So we shall go. I know there's no snakes here, or maybe there is, I don't even know, to be honest. It's kind of cool to just uh, tread the path least walked. I wouldn't say it's cool. It adds a lot of stress to your life. And sometimes, oh shit. Okay, this is getting really trippy. It's getting muddy too, so my thing slips. You see that? It's a bit slippery here. Don't want to fall down there. Okay. All right. Where the hell does this take me? I don't even know. You see how the ground is wet? I have a feeling this is because if it flash floods, this area might be. Look, yep. So these trees fall down because the water pushes them down basically. Like look at this tree. This is water is doing. So this is probably an area where you probably get hella flash floods. Okay, I'm gonna say that I will live today and I gotta go back now. Okay, Whew, that was a mission. I got lost for a second. I was feeling stuck. That's a whole nother kind of stuck. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, what's the real lesson here? The real lesson is that you'll feel what you feel, but you gotta do what you gotta do still. And I found that no matter who you are or what your walk in life is, you're gonna have situations where you're not a fan of what's happening. But I think that's just the life experience. If you don't have losses, you can't appreciate the gains. Conversely, if you have too many gains, you forget the losses. So when the losses hit, you're like, oh shit, what the hell? So maybe that's a lesson in itself. Either way, the fact that I'm in Hawaii, the fact that I can, look at this. Look at that, I didn't even know this was a real thing. This looks like something from a TV show. It really does, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. So if you're someone that feels stuck in your life and you're watching this video you're going like, man, this guy, what's he talking about stuck? I know real stuck. I'm the one that's in real pains. If you're feeling that way, you'd be surprised, my friend. The world is kind of really vicious. And if you really think about it, just the human experience itself is kind of crazy. To be able to experience life in a time when you have the internet, you're watching this on YouTube or wherever the hell. But most likely, realistically, you're watching this on a tablet. There's a 33% chance you're watching this on a desktop computer. Do you even know how the computer works? I don't, but we use it. We use the internet. We use all these things that's, that like people before us, they worked their ass off. You think they weren't feeling stuck? Of course they were. Human, the human species has been stuck. Like, the, we felt stuck forever. And yet, the most craziest things are constantly being done, constantly being made. So to me, I think those feelings, like as strong as they are and as prominent as they might be in your life, they're just a very, very minor fraction of the whole life experience in the first place. So you can dwell in it, sure. Or you can just take in the view and accept what the universe has to offer, whatever you believe the universe to be. So yeah, like that Instagram quote said, this too shall pass. Hope you learned something, peace.